SCP-106 Object Class Keto SCP-106 appears to be an elderly humanoid with a general appearance of an advanced decomposition. This appearance may vary, but the rotting quality is observed in all forms. SCP-106 is not exceptionally agile and will remain motionless for days at a time, waiting for prey. SCP-106 is also capable of scaling any vertical surface and can remain suspended upside down indefinitely. When attacking, SCP-106 will attempt to incapacitate prey by damaging major organs, muscle groups, or tendons, then pull disabled prey into its pocket dimension. SCP-106 appears to prefer human prey items in the 10 to 25 years of age bracket. SCP-106 causes a corrosion effect in all solid matter that it touches, engaging a physical breakdown in materials several seconds after contact. This is observed as rusting, rotting, and cracking of materials, and the creation of a black mucus-like substance, similar to that material coating SCP-106. This effect is particularly detrimental to living tissues, and is assumed to be a pre-digestion action. Corrosion continues for 6 hours after contact, after which the effect appears to burn out. SCP-106 is capable of passing through solid matter, leaving behind a patch of its corrosive mucus. SCP-106 is able to vanish inside solid matter, entering what is assumed to be a form of pocket dimension. SCP-106 is then able to exit this dimension from any point connected to the initial entry point. Examples Entering the inner wall of a room and exiting the outer wall. Entering a wall and exiting from the ceiling. It is unknown if this is the point of origin for SCP-106 or a simple lair created by SCP-106. Limited observations of this pocket dimension has shown it to be comprised mostly of halls and rooms. Special Containment Procedures Revision 11-8 No physical interaction with SCP-106 is allowed at any time. All physical interaction must be approved by no less than two-thirds vote from O5 Command. Any such interaction must be undertaken in AR-2 maximum security sites. After a general non-essential staff evacuation, all staff, research, security, class D, etc. are to remain at least 60 meters away from the containment cell at all times, except in the event of breach events. SCP-106 is to be contained in a sealed container comprised of lead-lined steel. This container will be sealed within 40 layers of identical material, each layer separated by no less than 36 centimeters of empty space. Support struts between layers are to be randomly spaced. Container is to be suspended no less than 60 centimeters from any surface by ELO-IID electromagnetic supports. Secondary containment area is to be comprised of 16 spherical cells each filled with various fluids and a random assembly of surfaces and supports. Secondary containment is to be fitted with light systems capable of flooding the entire assembly with no less than 80,000 lumens of light, instantly with no direct human involvement. Both containment areas are to remain under 24-hour surveillance. Any corrosion observed on any containment cell surfaces, staff members, or other site locations within 200 meters of SCP-106 are to be reported to site security immediately. Any objects or personnel lost to SCP-106 are deemed missing or KIA. No recovery attempts are to be made under any circumstances. Well, that was SCP-106. A humanoid SCP that basically makes everything decay and is decaying themselves so kind of creepy when you think about it i mean a humanoid being able to almost get anywhere and everywhere um kind of creepy 
and given that it's an elderly humanoid and the age bracket between 10 and 25 years, that's kind of dodgy as well. But it is an SCP, uh, anomalous objects, so yeah. Let me know what you thought of this one in the comments below. I'd like to hear your thoughts if you liked it. Leave a like if you dislike it, dislike it. Subscribe to support this channel. If you do hit the bell to get notified. I put up new videos every Sunday and then occasionally throughout the week. You can join my Discord if you like, the link to do so is in the description below. You can talk to me and many others there. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Oh, 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 o